Hi, Alexis. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So I'm really excited to talk to you about Abigail's progress today. Um, I have some really exciting things to tell you about. Um, so we'll start with what does Abigail think about preschool? Um, she thinks it's fun. She's told me that she's made a few friends. That's wonderful. What has Abigail been sharing with you about preschool? She usually doesn't remember that much. She tells me that she doesn't know, but um, <laughs> I know that she plays a lot. That's typical for preschoolers. Um, what is Abigail's favorite activity? Uh, she really likes to draw and she likes to do a lot of art projects. That makes a lot of sense. She, she does a lot of drawing at school. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the individual child report. And what that does is that tells us where Abigail should be at and where she is at developmentally for her age and grade. Um, the plan for the conference is just to talk about her progress and ways for us to be able to expand on what she already knows. So for the first one, the social emotional department, um, that tells us where Abigail is at with interacting with peers how she forms relationships, how she responds to emotional cues, and how she solves social problems. I've scored Abigail at a level eight. Um, that's pretty good for her age. Um, she can control her emotions and solve social problems. She follows rules and expectations, and she can dress herself. She is a social butterfly and has no problem interacting with her peers or making friends. So back in February, the kids were getting ready to go outside and they were putting on gloves. There was a child who needed some help. So she helped him get the gloves on. She's really kind and compassionate towards other, other children. And um, I think the next stage that we can work on for her development is to start developing strategies to help towards applying basic skills in a more complex manner. Um, helping her acknowledging her feelings in social situations and giving her more complex jobs like helping out, um, setting the table, um, things like that. I think applying new strategies will give Abigail an opportunity to expand on what she already knows. For physical, what we look for in physical development is uh, demonstrating traveling and balance skills, gross motor skills, using fingers and hands, and using writing and drawing tools. Um, I've scored Abigail level eight. She can run, walk, jump, hop, walk downstairs, gallop, and move objects without needing assistance from a teacher. She can balance and walk on a balance beam. She can hop on one foot and she can uh, occasionally she can switch feet as well. Um, I asked Abigail if she could hop like a kangaroo. She was able to without any problems. Um, I also gave her additional directions to stand on one foot. Um, she did have, she lost her balance once, but then she continued and she was very persistent until she was able to do it without any complications. Um, I did ask her to uh, complete three activities. One was to touch her belly and then her cheeks and then sit down. She was able to do all three without problem. I did another activity where I asked her to stand up, turn around, and then sit down. And she was able to complete that too. Um, some of the things that we can do to help her um, developmental, developmentally and um, progressing to the next stage is um, she's really good with her fingers and hands and the fine motor skills. So what I've done is I made this cute little shoe. It has some laces and that will help her with her fine motor skills and it'll also help her be more independent in um, tying her shoes and being able to care for herself. So you can take that home with you for her use at home. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, so language. Um, what we look for is um, how well they comprehend language, how well she can follow directions, um, how clearly she speaks, and uses conventional grammar um, and whether or not she can tell me, tell us about another time and place and whether or not she engages in activities. Um, I scored Abigail at level eight. Um, once again, that's really good for her age. 
um, she can acknowledge and identify all letters. Um, she can also associate them with the with the with their sounds. Um, she follows directions, speaks clearly. Um, for example, Abigail was looking at some cups that the kids had made for Valentine's Day. They're all in the window, and she had um, pointed out the letter A for her name. Um, so I expanded on that, and I asked her to find the letter C. Um, she was able to do that, and she was able to sound them out as well. Um, <clears throat> she is able to follow instructions and answer questions with little assistance. So the next stage of development, I think, would be to engage her in more complex conversations, um, to incorporate new ideas, to expand on that knowledge as well. She, we can also incorporate new words um, to develop a more complex vocabulary. Um, it's, it can be little things like, you know, dictionary. You know, so little things like that, you know, and show her what a dictionary is. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this will help in building a stronger set of communication skills and allow her to develop in um, in language in general. Um, the next category would be cognitive. Um, what we look for is whether or not they she in, engages in activities. Um, how persistent is she when trying new things? Earlier, I had used the example of how she was persistent in ma mastering balancing on her foot. Um, her eagerness to learn gave her the ability to stay focused on completing the task and until she was able to do it. So that was really good. Um, she shows flexibility, inventiveness, and thinking by being able to use objects as something not present. Um, she had taken some bristle blocks and she had made a brush. So she was pretending to brush her hair. Um, she also used the magnetic tiles and made an ice cream cone. Um, so she stuck them all together and, you know, formed an ice cream cone with ice cream on top. So it was really inventive on um, the way that she was using the materials in the classroom to make something. Mm -hmm. um, she engages in socio sociodramatic play um, that's acting out in imaginary scenarios. Um, and she utilizes props to mimic actions. Um, Overall, Abigail attends and engages during um, activities. She's persistent in her learning, and she's a good problem solver. I scored her at a level six, and I think the next stage would be to engage her in more problem-solving activities to, to expand on her thinking skills and strategies. Um, for literacy, if what we look at is uh, discrimination of rhyme, alliteration, and smaller units of sound. Um, she can identify names and letters. She matches the letters to their sounds. Um, she uses books to interact during reading experience, and she can retell and recount details from informational texts. Um, she's able to recognize all the letters and associate with them, them with their sounds. Um, she can recognize rhyming words and sounds, and she understands word that words sound the same and can clap her hands to the syllables of, of her name. Mm -hmm. um, she can open a book and turn the pages from left to right. Um, she also acknowledges that words are read from left to right. And for this, I scored her at a level six. Um, she's doing really word or really well. <laughs> Um, I think to expand on her, like, rhyming, we can incorporate words like, you know, bat. You know, what sounds like bat? Does cat sound like bat? Cat, bat, hat, mat, rat, sat. Mm -hmm. um, so those kind of things will help her. And um, also to work on acknowledging that letters are placed in a specific order when reading. Um... We can also work on um, identifying words. Um, she already knows upper and lowercase levels, um, but we can expand on that by helping her acknowledge them and by introducing them in random orders to gain on that. Mm -hmm. um, so math, she's really good at math. Um, she can count to 30, she can identify numbers up to 10. Um, she's good at quantifying, she can acknowledge when there's more or less. 
Mm -hmm. Um, She can understand spatial relationships, which is um, above or on top, below, in front, or next to. Um, She can also, um, we call it measuring... um, measuring time and money, but it's actually um, understanding the concept of schedules. Okay. So she's really good at following schedules, and she knows what comes next and after. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I stated, she can count to 30, um, almost with no assistance. Um, We had, we were counting in, in large group one day, and she was stating she was counting the numbers and she was pointing to them as she was counting. She had skipped the lever 20, the number 27, but with, with a little direction, she was able to acknowledge that, Oh, seven comes before eight. So we started back and she did 27, 28, 29, 30. So that was really good. And, um, she definitely exceeds for her age in that level. Um, I did score her at a level, Eight. Okay. Um, so some other things that we did, um, like the doll, you know, I talked about um, spatial relationships. I gave her a doll and asked her to put the doll in front of her, which she did. And then I asked her to put the doll behind her, which she did, and then next to, and then above her head. Um, she completed that all with ease. Mm-hmm. Um... She was able to identify basic shapes, and she knows a lot of shapes for her age. She knows ovals, rectangles. Um, at one point, um, you know, we were working on learning octagon. Um, she knows the star, circle, square, moon, and she was even able to identify a three-dimensional cube. Um, She does have a clear understanding of spatial relationships. She can identify shapes without help, and she can follow a schedule and understands, you know, what comes next and after. So I will give you this to take home. This is for yours to keep along with that. Thank you. You're welcome. So next I'm going to share with you is a summary of development and learning. And what this does, um, this just kind of, it's just kind of some goals that, you know, I have set for Abigail. Um, Based on, you know, the information that you have and, you know, how she works at home, do you have any um, thoughts or concerns on what you'd like to work, like for her to work on so we can set a goal? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, I've already worked some out for you. Um, Some things that, you know, we can use to progress in her next stage of development. Um, So for the development learning report, you know, this is a summary, you know, like I stated. Um, For social emotional, we can work on her learning to tie her shoes and zip her coat for her to, you know, it not only just works with social emotional, but it works with fine motor skills. She works with her fingers. It'll teach her to be more independent. Um, She's going to need that when she goes to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Um, For physical, we can work on learning tying her shoes. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Social emotional. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We can work on acknowledgement of the needs and expectations of others. Um, To do this, we can use books to discuss that. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. Physical, we can use the um, the shoelaces to help her tie her shoes and start working on um, zipping her coat. Um, usually for a zipping coat, you know, I like to use the hot dog and bun. You know, put the hot dog in the bun and then pull up. For language exercises that can be used, um, I like the games like I Spy or What's Better. I spy, you can incorporate, you know, different types of things. You know, I spy something that starts with the s sound. Mm-hmm. Um, that will help her connect um, letters with sounds or objects with sounds. And then she can start um, um, connecting the sounds to different objects and how they, how they sound when they're pronounced. Um, the what's better is game. 
Um, I like that one because it can really engage in conversation and it can also work for the language um, aspect of development. Um, what's better, ice cream or pancakes? Okay, she says ice cream. All right, what's better, ice cream or chocolate chip cookies? And you can continue to do that throughout the, you know, throughout the game and you can use different objects, you can use different foods, you can, and it, it also gives you a little more insight on, um, well, what kind of things that she really does like. Mm -hmm. At least for us, it can do that. Yeah. Um, for cognitive development, um, puzzles are really good for that. Puzzles help um, build social or problem solving skills. Um, one thing that you can do is you can start with an easy puzzle and then after that you can work on um, incorporating a more challenging puzzle once she's mastered the easier puzzle. Um, alphabet cards are good for literacy. Mm -hmm. So alphabet cards you can use them to incorporate different sounds. You can add the C to the H and start working on the CH sound. S and H for the SH sound. You can start creating words like two. Okay, the T goes before the O and that spells two. So those are some types of things to help um, her developmentary, developmentally mm -hmm. in the um, literacy okay. objective. So mathematics, um, it's not always just numbers and quantifying. Um, for some things that will help her develop for the next level would be to, um, I like to use beans. Beans are really good for quantifying and teaching more or less or um, teaching them that things can be added and they can also be taken away. Um, so this here is the summary of the development and learning. Um, I have some other um, things on here that might help you as well. Um, just some little tidbits about, you know, a, a additional games that you can play or other materials that you can use. If ever at all you need anything, please feel free to contact me. I can provide whatever materials that you may need for home. Um, so this is for you as well. Um, do you have any um, thoughts or concerns or any questions? Um, no, I don't think so. Thank you. All right. Well, um, I certainly appreciate you meeting with us, and it's been such a pleasure having Abigail in our classroom. And we really look forward to seeing what she can do next. All right. So thank you so much for coming, and we'll be in touch soon. All right. Bye. Bye.